Okay, these, Kyle, are the seven most popular golf resorts in the United States we're going to go through. Now, we can get, get, get some guesses first and, you know, want to want to get right into it from seven to number one. But I guess, yeah, we'll start there. You're a big golfer. Do, what resort do you think is for sure in the top seven? Bandon Dunes. Bandon Dunes is number two. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> now, not, I mean, now if, if, I, if I just made you guess, we'd go through these really quickly. So we're going to go one by one. But we'll get to Bandon Dunes at number two. That's a good guess. Um, obviously, so much golf, so much great golf in, in this country and uh, golf trips have become just huge, very popular. So the seven most popular resorts, starting with number seven in West Virginia, the Greenbrier. You ever been there? I have not golfed even just anywhere in Virginia, West Virginia, whatever it may be. Obviously, you've heard of it. What event do they host at Greenbrier? Um, historic resort, several top-notch courses, including the Old White TPC, which hosts a PGA Tour event. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't even know what, what tour event that is. Let me see real quick. I almost think it's the Greenbrier Invitational. I could be wrong on that, but yeah, I mean, obviously I've heard quite a bit about it. Uh, I thought it used to be on tour. I think it hosts a live event now. I don't even know. Um, hard to keep up with what's going on with the live and PGA tour and when everything will be settled. But, um, obviously we'd love to, you know, get to a few more places. I, I have not been able to get to some of the premier national you know golf resorts just yet but have had you know certainly the pleasure of playing along with you a lot of really high-end private courses well and i know you do a quarterly golf trip so right. you should add that to your list as well for sure um, yeah i've heard great things about green buyer and like it says luxury accommodations rich golfing heritage i've heard that the place is just top notch so it'd be cool to go to one day number six sea island resort in georgia never been there either um, hosts the RSM Classic, their PGA Tour event. That's towards the end of the schedule every year. Uh, sea Island Resort in Georgia. Never been, but I've heard it's good. I honestly, don't know much about it. I, I've played, you know, certainly quite a bit in Georgia. The cool thing about Georgia, depending on where it is, I mean, if you're talking like, I, I had a buddy who lived, you know, like an hour south of Atlanta, you're pretty much golfing year round. There might be a month and a half, two months where it's pretty bad, but you can pretty much play the yeah. entire year if you're in southern Georgia. It can get cold a little bit in Georgia in the winter. Oh yeah. You can get you can get some high forties. You can get you can get forties. Heaven forbid you know, the for shirts sure. freeze. I mean it's pandemonium. <laughs> you know, they don't have salt. They don't they're not prepared at all. Um yeah, courses down there very, very different. Again, they they die, the grass gets dormant, you mm-hmm. know, throughout the winter. So it's a very different like a gust golf. golf. Right. Um but I absolutely have enjoyed I've played Played Atlanta National, which is obviously not necessarily a part of Sea Island, but a few different spots down there and thoroughly enjoyed uh, Georgia golf. Yeah. Number five is the American Club in Wisconsin in Kohler, uh, home to Whistling Straits, which has hosted multiple PGA Championships and the Ryder Cup. I've been there. Well, you've been to Kohler. Yeah, I've been to the American The American Club is actually where is actually a uh, the resort itself, you know, probably 15 minutes from Whistling Straits. Uh, very, very nice old school classic. I've not played Whistling Straits. I've just been there for the Ryder Cup. Right. But that is, if it's not my, it's not my number one because St. Andrews is my number, well, I mean, I don't even view Augusta as my number one bucket list because it's just unrealistic, but (laughs) obviously Augusta would be, but St. Andrews would be my other one. And I got to, I got to be honest, Whistling Straits is, is up there for me in terms of a course I really, really want to play. It looks spectacular. Honestly, it looks like there's a lot of great courses in Wisconsin. The only issue- Heron Hills. Unless you're flying private, it's just kind of a pain in the butt to get to. I think that's one yeah. of the reasons why it's great to see just here in Michigan, especially Northern Michigan, more and more flights. Delta is, you know, flights from all over the country at this point going directly to Traverse City Airport right. and surrounding areas. That's good. Hopefully it, it expands is. a little bit with Wisconsin. I haven't really looked at this. So I, when I went to the Ryder Cup, I was fortunate to fly private. So we flew right, right into Kohler. And it was great because it, it, it is kind of in the middle of nowhere where if you fly to Chicago, still a drive. If you fly to Milwaukee, still a drive. But if you fly right into Kohler, yeah, it's it's not far at all from uh, from Whistling Straits. But can be tough to get to, as can a lot of these resorts be, be a little tough to get to. Rarely, I don't know, well, some you do. But it's not often that a, a world-class traveling golf resort is right in or outside of a major city. Right, for sure. And, and that's honestly the, the toughest part is if you're doing one of those premier resort you know, type of, of golf trips, you're there. Like there, you're not, there's no nightlife. There's no, 
hey, yeah, let's bump into the city and, you know, have a, a really nice dinner and, you know, let's see, go to a couple of cocktail lounges and turn it into something. You're literally at that resort and you're only on a, eating there right. and there because everything else on is a like golf an hour, trip, two hours right. away. Depends right. how you right. define it. You know, it, PGA National's a golf resort, right? Right. And, and you, you, there's plenty of nightlife around there you could go to. That's a but, rarity though. Right. You know, if you really look at this list and if there's some on there that I assume are on there that we're going to get to here in a second, again, the top seven golf resorts in the country. It, it's tough to find resorts that are right near a great spot like West Palm, you know, Jupiter, right. Palm Beach, you know, what do, what do you call, uh, what is it, technically Palm Beach County right there? Palm Beach Gardens. Palm Beach Gardens, yeah, yep. Gardens. Yep. Yeah, you like to call it Gardens. You know. that, us locals, that's what you call it. <laughs> right. um, number four in terms of most popular golf resorts in the country, Keough Island, South Carolina, yeah. no surprise that's on there. Right. Tremendous. Uh, it's hosted Ryder Cups, it's hosted PGA Championships. Everyone remembers Phil Mickelson winning the... The PGA when he was old, uh, right, at, right. At, at, at Kiowa Island. Um, I think the be thing, a cool one. Kiowa, obviously, the course is absolutely immaculate, but I mean, it's it's a it's a vacation feel. I mean, I I almost think you could, you know, not necessarily. I mean, you can if you want, but you could take the wife. You know, you could take the family if you want. You yeah. can golf. You can do great. I think they have great restaurants. Some of the venues and and many well, and that's, able to see looks spectacular. It's, it doesn't look just like a. A place to go for golf. It looks like golf. It, absolutely spectacular. You can do it, but you can enjoy yourself even if you're not golf. A lot of that's a whole other video in itself we could do. But a lot of the, these resorts are really catering to the couples and to the families and to the 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 pool, the activities, the wine, the uh, rock climbing, whatever it might be, hiking, right. um, bounce house, and they have to. I, I get it. You know, I think a lot of guys prefer just to play golf. And there are certain resorts, much like you guest with Bandon that, that, you know, there's no, there's no hiking or, or, you know, kids activities there really. I don't think maybe there is, I don't want to speak for Bandon, but, um, depends on the resort. Number three out of seven, uh, again, the seven most popular golf resorts in the United States to absolutely no surprise at all. It's, it is Pinehurst where the U S open just was that that's number three. Um, another place haven't been, uh, I know a lot of people who have. A ton. You hear tremendous things about it. Some some fantastic courses. Obviously, Donald Ross has such a presence there, and um, a lot of amenities as well. I see. W when I asked you to guess the the one resort that was on here, and you said Bandon, which was a, a great guess and an accurate guess, I would have said Pinehurst because when I think of just you know American golf resorts, Pinehurst is what immediately comes to mind for me. No, there's no doubt. And obviously now you got to get down there because everyone's got to get to Pinehurst number two and recreate Bryson's bunker shot on number 18. Right. I'm sure there's a bunch of people uh, slowing play down to go and recreate that shot. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, what, there's nine courses, 10 courses? <clears throat> I mean, it's insane. Uh, the amount of golf that they have. I, I've heard from the people that have gone, you basically you have to go multiple times to even get close to knocking them all out. Not to mention. It looks cool. And I don't want to, you know, promote courses off the property or anything like that for Piners, but there's courses in the surrounding area that people mix in. So obviously number two is going to be mm -hmm. the one that everyone wants to play. I get it. Two uh, on two. And then there's others that, that you want to play and all that, but apparently there's some surrounding courses that you can mix into the trip and really just do it right. So I, a lot of opportunity for just, my God, it's a lot of golf, but you know, can play and enjoy yourself. Well, or you can be like Riggs from Barstool and quarantine there during COVID. Right, play right. Every single day. Worst place um, to do it. Number two, as we mentioned, Bandon Dunes Golf Resort in Oregon. Talk about another place that, that seems to be tough to get to in terms of flying in. Where do you fly into Portland and then have to drive or something? Yeah, it's a two-hour um, drive, two-and-a-half-hour drive uh, still from there. If you fly into a different airport, it's a four-hour drive, if I'm not mistaken. That's why you got to just fly private if you can do right. it. You know, it, it, sure. it, it, it's so much more convenient to just be able to, it's for some somewhere like that, 100%. but if you can get a group of guys or if you can, you know, somehow, you, get, get, you know, charter a jet for 12 people, that, that's that's huge. Right. Well, I think Bandon is the ultimate example of, you're, you're there, you know, and, and the thing, that's about what you Bandon, hear. Yep. the thing about Bandon that makes it tough is I got a couple of buddies who are going to Bandon uh, in two months and it's a full week. Because one day is specific for a travel day. It's not like you can fly in, time and you're difference. there, and you can play at one o'clock. And you know, it literally you can fly in in the morning, cross country flight. It's still another four hour drive. You might be able to play the short course or something like that. Plus, with Bandon again, it, it's so remote. You're, you're, you're those restaurants, those bars. That's pretty much all you're doing. Yep. On top of that, there's no no carts. 
you're walking with caddies or it's walking great. and carrying, I believe. Is um, it every single? Isn't day. it Banda that does it? Was it the one day of the year where where they where it's the the long? Is it the longest day of the year? Or, or people play like seventy two holes there in one day or I, something? I wouldn't be surprised. Um, yeah, but that's t- I mean even thirty six walking. Yeah, that's tough. And and the weather out there. What's specific. the most? Have you played fifty four in a day before? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've probably played sixty three. I don't know if I've ever no. played fifty four in a day. Yeah, that's a lot. It is a ton. I cannot do it. Thirty six. I played a bunch. I've played a little more than thirty six several times. But e- even thirty six. I mean, you know, I just got back from a golf trip. I don't. Uh, thirty six every day. I don't. Like, I, three days yeah, in a row. I don't like to do it. Man. You know, I, 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 I. There's only a handful of times per year where I'll do thirty six. You know, 100%. certain golf trips, obviously, when you have have matches and stuff going on, you, of course. Well, um, that's the thing. You change the formats up. You're, I, hopefully, you're not playing own ball the entire time. Scramble or alternate shot. shot. That, yeah. That's what we do to mix it up. So you're you're kind of almost doing the same amount of swings, but the pressure's a little bit off. You don't have to hit every every shot doesn't count, yeah. you know, so to speak. That definitely helps. But yeah, 36 walking band in with some of the weather that I've seen out there, just and even talking to the people who have played it, I, I, yeah, it'd be very tiring. So the in the number one most popular golf resort in the United States. Do you have any other guesses here? See, this is tough. I uh, I would have said Pinehurst or Bandon would be number one. Um, I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna miss this, but uh, you know, I'm surprised Stream Song isn't on not that Florida. List. It's another West Coast, and there's no way it could be number one. Th- this is this is probably one of the most popular courses in the United States. In terms of what people would want to play, Pebble Beach technically a resort. Pebble Beach, okay. Pebble Beach Resorts, California. Right. Yeah, yep. so I think that's a little unfair. Um, well, that is a golf resort. You you have you stay on property, and and what is the the Pebble? What is what else? Right Spanish there. Bay, yeah. uh, Pebble Beach, um, and the other one is what's the other one? Spanish Beach, Pebble Bay, and or Spanish Bay, Pebble Beach. I can't remember the other one. Nonetheless, but um, yeah, I mean, so for me, I guess. I just don't think of Pebble Beach as a resort. I think of Pebble Beach on its own as just one of the greatest, you know, I mean, talk about bucket list courses to play in your entire life. But Oh, Spyglass, yeah. Sp- right, right. Yeah. No, I I mean, tough to beat that as number one. I, you know. Yeah, but I, see, I'd love to go to Pebble Beach. Um, I know that's a lot of people's number one mm-hmm. on their bucket list. It's not mine. I, I, I would love to play it, sure. It'd be absolutely fantastic, and, I, and I'd be happy to, to pay to play it if there's a group of guys going out there. But there, there's just uh, several other places I'd really like to play before I play Pebble Beach. Right. You know, I mean, there's so many great... Whistling Straits, I'd really love to play. I'd love to play Pinehurst number two. Obviously, love to, by far and away, go overseas and play, not even St. Andrews, but play uh, Portrush or play, you know, County Downs or play uh, Troon, obviously. There's so many over there. Yeah. Uh, in Ireland and Scotland, where, where that'd be my number one. But uh, even in the United States, I mean, Pebble Beach would be awesome to play, but it's not like I, I need to get there right away. So Harbor Town, I'd love to play too. Right. No, that's a great one too. Um, I, the cool thing about Pebble Beach is it's it's not like in this remote spot. I mean, talk about an unbelievable location. You're not just stuck yep. playing golf. Um, you know, having dinner overlooking 18 and the tree in the middle of the fairway. And I mean, some of the iconic moments that have happened right there, that that's uh Jim Nance lives there, he could yeah. cast. <laughs> right, right. But no, it's it's great. And and obviously drop in the comments if you guys have played here. But again, the seven most popular golf resorts in the United States at seven, Greenbrier at six, Sea Island Resort at five, the American Club in Wisconsin, four is Keough Island, South Carolina, three, Pinehurst, North Carolina, two is Bandon Dunes in Oregon, number one, Pebble Beach Resorts in California. Drop in the comments if you've played these and, and what's on your bucket list as well. 